Hi, so in this video we're going to be talking about uh, virtual VCR which is a video capturing piece of software. It, it's, um, as with our mantra, less is more, it's also free. But it's a really great video capturing software and um, what it does is basically um, if you have an analog camera, if you look at the previous videos that I've made about the high format um, going into the TV card uh, in the computer and then you need something to capture um, that. Now the Win TV cards normally come with their own software. Some of the older software though isn't that reliable now so Virtual VCR is a really great um, alternative and I found it actually more um, reliable. So with Virtual VCR, um, you'll be able to download it in the description bar. Once you've uh, installed it, you can click on this little hammer on the corner and if you click on video, you can decide what uh, resolution, what frame size you want to capture at. Um, your color format, how many frames per second uh, and if you want to use compression, now I'll explain all of this. The frame size uh, resolution, that really depends on what you're capturing for. If you're only capturing for the web, you might get away with uh, putting in 640 by 480 there. But um, the PAL region, which is where I'm capturing from, um, is 720 by 576 and uh, 25 frames per second. If you're an NTSC, uh, you'll need to change that 25 frames per second to 30 if you want to capture all the frames that you're, you're uh, currently getting. So that basically sets out the size of screen that you're capturing, okay, the amount of information. Now you will be able to maximise that to full screen once you've got the video file, but um, the smaller the screen, the less information you'll be capturing. So you want it to be bigger, but I will warn you, the, um, the video uh, file sizes can be absolutely massive. So if you tick this box here, use compression you can pick from the different codecs that you might have installed in your computer. Um, I'll put a link in the bar for this one which is XVID MPEG-4 codec, that's quite good. That compresses it quite well. And I am actually, I mean a lot of people don't like it, but I'm quite a big fan of the WMV codecs. Um, I think they compress really well. Uh, but there's a bunch of ones you can use um, it just depends how fast your computer is and how good your hard drive is because you might not be able to capture using compression. You might have to just capture without. Um, if you hit the prop, that's your properties. Now, um, this is quite self-explanatory. Basically, um, the higher, the more quality you go for on this slider, the bigger the file size. So you're going to have to have, you know, if you're capturing, say, 20 minutes of footage that you filmed that day, um, that's going to take up, you know, that could take up, I don't know, 10, 15 gigabytes. So you need to be careful. Then you've got the audio. You need to tick capture audio, and uh, you, ha you can compress the audio as well, but I wouldn't worry as much about that. Now, with your audio, with your uh, one TV card, you'll have to check because sometimes the Win TV cards don't have an input for audio. And what you need to do is you need to um, take the uh, phono, the phono uh, outputs from your, your camera that do the left and right stereo mixes, which is your white cable and your red cable. You should have three coming out. You should have a white, red, and the yellow, the yellow goes into your Win TV card, and the white or red um, can go into your wherever your microphone socket is on your computer. Okay, and you can um, choose input settings, 
and uh, choose what the input is. Then we've got line in, for example. You can decide what you're using. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff here, but I, I think you can get the gist of it. So it's a very good capture program. Like I say, it's free to use, and you just hit this red button up here to start capture. And what I would say, if you're capturing it, if you're capturing your footage in stages, every time you do it, make sure you click the hammer and change the name of the file you want to save to, because it will always, uh, it will just keep saving to the same file otherwise. Okay, so um, any questions about that, just uh, leave some comments. Uh, and uh, on to the next video.